Hey everyone, this is Gayatri. Welcome you all to Bioschool. In today's session, we are going to discuss about pace of evolution. So the pace of evolution that means whether the evolution it occurs rapidly or it occurs gradually. So what is your view? Does the evolution it occurs rapidly or gradually? If you want to know the answer, then please do watch the video till the end. Let's begin. Pace of evolution. Evolution it occurs both within the species and it occurs across the species. So does the evolution it occurs rapid or gradually? So to know the answer, first we will discuss about what is gradualism. Okay. Gradualism it is the selection or the variation that occurs gradually but that changes are constant and consistent okay the changes that are constant and consistent but the changes that are occur slowly or gradually that is known as the gradualism evolution okay look at here in this example this is the evolution of horse and this is this one is the eohippus it gradually changes and evolved into the modern horse that is the equus so here the changes that are gradually but the changes that occur consistently and constant manner okay that is known as the gradualism okay look into another example this example it represents the common ancestor to both the giraffe and okapi and they both undergo the gradual transitions okay so at the early division that produces the two line only division it produced the two line one line it ever uh, it formed the okapi line and other other is the giraffe line okapi and giraffe they are we can say they are the cousins okapi it is also known as the forest giraffe okay so the okapi here the changes are gradual okay but the changes it is gradual that means the slow but it is constant and consistent with the time and by gradually accumulating the changes, it forms the modern okapi. Okay, gradual changes. By the gradual changes, after the many years or the, after the many generations, it forms the modern okapi. Similar in case of the giraffe line. At the beginning, giraffe have the very short neck, but according to that need and uh, demand of the environment for the survivability, they gradually change this occurs and that gradual changes are the slow but constant and by accumulating that gradual changes okay and gradually they evolved into the modern giraffe which have long neck right so the evolution of okapi and the evolution of giraffe it occurs gradually if you plot a gradual evolution against the time then it will appear a appear a graph like this here you can see this one is the represent the species one the changes are accumulated gradually then it develops into species two then the species two accumulate the changes gradually and constantly and develop into species three so the changes are slow but constant and consistent then what is the punctuated equilibrium in punctuated equilibrium the changes are very rapid okay Gradual equilibrium, gradual equilibrium is changes are very slow, but here the changes are very rapid. And another point here to remember is that, of course, the evolution that leads to the formation of new species, that is the speciation, but here the process of the speciation, it is a periodic process. Periodic process means there is a period of very little change. Okay, there is a period of very little change and that changes are not markable then there is a sudden change occur okay then there is a sudden huge change occur okay so it has the periodic process that means a period of very little change which is unmarkable followed by a huge change okay and punctuated equilibrium it occurs either because of the change in the environmental condition or by the mutation okay look at here this is the butterfly there is a very little change Okay, for a period of time then what will happen because of the mutation or maybe because of the change in the environmental condition it suddenly or rapidly changes into another new species then there will be a constant period and no change or there will be a constant period or very little change for a period of time this is known as the punctuated equilibrium means 
period of no change then a huge change then period of no change then a huge change okay this is known as the punctuated equilibrium okay so let's have the another example like this one is the common ancestor to okapi and giraffe here you can see there is a period there is very little change or you can say that no change then sudden change no change then sudden change okay the common ancestor the change is like this this is known as the punctuated equilibrium if we plot a graph against evolution punctuated evolution over period of time then we will see period there is no change or very little change then a huge change occurs the huge change it occurs it because of the mutation or it may be the changes in the environmental condition if the environmental condition changes then what will happen one group of organism it will adapt it to the new environmental condition according to that environmental condition they adapt themselves and develop into the new species okay so this is about the punctuated equilibrium so now i have a question for you so how did tigers get the stripes it is by the gradual evolution or by the punctuated evolution or by the combination of both so let's understand this question by a story a long time ago there are the tiger like animals are present and those tigers they do not have they are without any stripes okay but few of them have the markings on the stripes are present so those have the stripes are present they are able to hide themselves in grasses and they are successful in hunting prey and those uh, tiger like animals those don't have any marks they died because of the hunger right so in the next generation we will find the more tigers have the marks okay on their body or the stripes on their body and those tigers the stripes are more prominent their survival rate is higher okay so similar way and the gradual accumulation of the changes over a many period of time or over many generation will finally find the tigers those who have stripes on their whole body okay it is the gradual equilibrium let's discuss this question through the punctuated equilibrium if the punctuated equilibrium occurs then what will happen initially uh, in long time ago the tigers are present those who don't have any stripes over the body but 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 the sudden mutation occurs and that mutation it leads to the formation of stripes over the body over the whole body so those tigers have the stripes over the body they are more successful and their reproductivity and also their life span is more successful than those who are without stripes over a period of time of changes or the punctuated gradual evolution then it develop into the tiger whose body is with full of stripes right so the tigers it get the stripes either by the gradual equilibrium or by the punctual equilibrium so the tigers may develop the stripes because of the combination of both gradual equilibrium and punctual equilibrium okay at a certain period of time there is a huge mutation occurs and that mutation it caused the stripe like marking on the body of tigers and that stripe like markings that are polished off into a clear stripes over a period of time by gradually okay so we can say that the stripes of the tigers it they, it evolved by both punctuated equilibrium punctuated equilibrium means because of the mutation they developed the stripes and that stripes are gradually gradually means slowly constantly and at a consistent rate it becomes polished off okay but according to the darwin the evolution rate it is steady slow and continuous right that means the evolution it occurs gradually later on the scientists when they are studying about the fossils they found that in some species the changes that are slowly but in some other species the changes is very rapid within a short period of time they changes into another species so there is no connecting link between them so from that study it is concluded that 
evolution it does not occur only gradually but also it takes place by punctuated also it takes place rapidly or by the punctuated equilibrium so there are so it is concluded that there are two types of pace of equilibriums are present one is known as the gradual equilibrium and another one is known as the punctuated equilibrium okay let's see one question according to which evolutionary theory there are long periods without significant evolutionary changes interrupted by short epi short episode of rapid evolution so what what will be this answer there is a period there is no significant change which is interrupted by a short period of rapid change that means it is the punctuated equilibrium so the correct answer is punctuated equilibrium thank you so much for joining me today and uh, i hope that now you have a clear idea about what is gradual equilibrium what is punctuated equilibrium and how does the evolution it occurs okay it occurs either by the gradualism or by the punctualism or by the combination of both so if you like this video then please do share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel still if you have any confusion then please put a comment in the comment section down below bye bye Thank you.